To manufacture a gear wheel by conventional process, after turning, you need a dedicated machine tool like shaping or broaching for the internal spline and another hobby machine for the external helical gear. It means many setup and related component handlings. Instead, going on a more flexible five axis machine tool, you can produce both the internal and the external helical gear in the same setup, avoiding setup errors like gear run out. And that's really important on such kind of component. General engineer segment can take a big advantage from Skyving technology because they could machine even a gear component like a spline shaft on a precise five axis machine tool, avoiding to source this shaft just for the spline operation. Also other segments like automotive or aerospace industry can take advantages from Skyving by increasing their productivity and flexibility at the same time. A typical component for mass production is this rotor shaft. In general, uh, you have the ordinary turning operation and uh, drilling, threading, things like that. And of course, if you have an intelligent five axis machine, it's also possible to combine more than the ordinary things. For example, you, if you see the, the grooves you have here internal, of course you can do that with a simple standard boring bar, but also you can do things like that. So you have a double sized bar and it's possible to do a double sized slot uh, in one shot. So this is a classical reduction of, of idle time and it's really easy to, uh, to realize. Of course, we have to consider that we have more passive forces and for that it's important not to go only straight in with the x-axis, but to go in an angular way uh, just to reduce the engagement of the cutting edges. In combination with this, it's also possible uh, to have a look on, on the gear production here. With Skyving, it's also possible to cover that as well. And um, I guess with two setups, in general, I think it's possible to go from the raw material uh, to the finishing product like this. Here we have a special tool holder with a um, diamond ball, which is adjustable uh, spring loaded and pushes onto the already turned surface of the hard turning process. The big advantage here is that the diamond ball is taking the, the passive cutting forces and eliminates them. So the result will be a better surface quality for mainly unstable clamping situations, parts with thin wall thicknesses or in general parts with small diameters. If the resulting dampening effect is high enough, you could also consider using a Viper geometry like we did here to also realize higher feed rates while keeping the surface quality and machining the parts even faster. Another big advantage of scroll-free turning is the generation or creation of a helix-free surface, which means we don't have um, some kind of helix surface within the z-axis. This is mandatory for many surfaces uh, who are used as uh, ceilings or bearings. One of the most important factors to deliver this technology is for sure the machine. DMG Mori has presented on the EMO 2023 the CTX Beta 450TC is the modern machine of its art uh, in, in DMG Mori and I think on, in the market. We have two innovative uh, software products on that. We have 3D shop floor programming exclusive for the MG Mori machines for the next two years, um, where the customer can input the 3D data into the control and 
can uh, program feature-based programming uh, on, the, on the control. OP Workbench is a Celos app that we added on the control that the customer can use the templates that we put on the machine in order to have faster programming and to get the first good program in a very easy way. Together with our DMQP partner, in this case uh, with Seco, we are very proud to cooperate together to find the best solution for our customers. Thank you.